So recently, I got my hands on an Atomos Ninja 5 recording monitor to try and film 4K 60p HDR footage, and found out that it has a cool waveform monitor built in. Since our controversial analysis of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus last year, I've always wanted to examine the actual peak brightness of other popular HDR titles on the market. Using this device, I briefly checked out some of my favorite test clips from 4K Blu-rays, starting with the opening scene from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. If I bring up the waveform monitor, you can see that peak brightness on this particular frame topped out at 75%. Now, the Atomos Ninja 5 expresses luminance in percentage terms, and horizontal grid lines run at 20% intervals, which isn't the most precise. To help us work out the brightness in nits, I've created this chart in the Kalman calibration software, showing the PQ curve going all the way to 10,000 nits, so 75% translates to around 1,000 nits. If we continue playing, you can see that the waveform never exceeded 75% or 1,000 nits, which in this scene corresponded to the fluorescent ceiling lights. Next, I checked out this scene from Pan that I must have watched more than a million times, not because it is a good movie, in fact, it's utter rubbish, but because it has various elements on screen which come close to 4,000 nits, useful for assessing HDR tone mapping when reviewing TVs. If you look at the waveform, it's a bit faint, so let's make it thicker by stroking a finger across. The sun's peak brightness hit somewhere between 85% and 90%, so roughly 3 to 4,000 nits. This dream sequence from Batman vs Superman is another scene I use frequently when reviewing TVs, and you can see from the Atomos waveform monitor that it clipped at around 90% of PQ corresponding to 4,000 nits of peak brightness. Now you know there's a good reason why I kept showing Batflex white shirt in my reviews. Of course, these were fairly easy titles for me to analyze, but for the future, I probably need to find some way to obtain more precise readings for HDR movies that don't conveniently have their peak brightness set at either 1,000 nits or 4,000 nits. Will you be interested to see me analyze more HDR content using this technique? Let me know in the YouTube comment section below. If you have any particular title in mind that you would like us to analyze, just leave a comment too. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.